All right, so we're gonna be doing another hard boss or bounty. 390 uh, Legion and two onslaughts. This is this is a pretty hard one. And my crew or my fleet is three eradicators, seven ventures, ten Gemini, and three brawlers, two lashers. And this is just to capture points. This is just trash. I'm howling home. And here we go. Should be here. I heard the little... Oh, there he is. There you are. That's a break fleet. Danger four stars. For me, at least. Alright, so we're gonna go with all. Minus one. Get the two speed. Maybe one less to get a seven. There you go. One more, maybe. Perfect. So we're gonna deploy, capture those points right away, and I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it out of play. So I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna help it at all. I just want to see what happens. Cause I've been doing good with the brick Invictus, but I want to let my guys like do their own thing. This is kind of a mistake. You want to have your ventures up front and these guys on the back. This is pretty bad. I, the, I, did, I messed up the order. Hopefully the ventures catch up. If I get more supply, I will uh, get more reinforcements. I just want to make sure we got it. See, the, the fight in the middle is just uh, wards. Wards are holding that line right now. They're tanking. And then we get the Ventures with the barrage of missiles. They just back up the catapults. Yep, there's no fucking way. Anything that gets close gets destroyed. Enforcements. One, two, three. Yep, two. Deploy. I'm not giving any commands, I just want to see what they do. This is really hands off approach. And the reason it works is because of the, the, the wards. They tank. They keep the enemies at bay and the missiles just handle it. And I have a combination of uh, Pillum vessels and Salamans. The Pillums do damage to Salamans, uh, destroy the engines. And they become sitting ducks. But yeah, as you can see, uh, we're not quite winning yet. We're clearing trash, uh, aka the 
this on purpose. He's trying to leave. He's trying to leave, but he has no engines. Get him. Salad man's. No, he got away. Wait, did he? Did he get away? Yeah, he did. He retreated it. Damn it. Wait, there's one more? What? Who's here? Wait, no way. We got it? I think he's up there. I think we got his engines. No, it's this guy. Okay. He's trying to get away too. Goodbye, engine. He's just a sitting duck. It's so fucking satisfying. Oh, 
we lost two. We lost the Lasher. We usually always lose the Lasher. And we lost uh, a Gemini. I didn't see this one dying. I was too focused on the big guys. He probably died solo on the bottom. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is very, very efficient. So the way it works is my Gemini are very good at carrying stuff. Their cargo is pretty big by default. And these guys, they have a lot of cargo slots or cargo space. So these guys have cargo capacity 684. This is only with the perk. So if you were to put the mod for carrying, you can get it even higher. But I don't have them uh, for carrying. I just have more. So you could potentially have four or maybe five ventures with the S mods. And, and they, they will, you don't need atlas to carry stuff you just need them and the best part is your atlas they can't fight they're just like a utility uh ship but the venture you can actually use it to support as you can see he can tank he can uh a long range dps and he has two uh mid-range guns uh the the 1000 range guns very 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 efficient uh the the repair on these guys is not very expensive. See, so you see right here, additional XP due to overall uh, battle difficulty. I'm always getting 50, 40%, and this is pretty, pretty satisfying. And the best part is when you have to chase, you always, always send the little guys like this, just to clean up the, the scraps. And the rewards are usually pretty good. Like this one, it's not bad. If I were to keep them, I'm, I'm not gonna keep them. I already have too many of those, but yeah. It's very, very, very fun build. Or very, very fun comp, not build. Uh, if I go on to detail what, I'm, what I have on my guys, so it makes sense a little bit. So I go to refit. My, I've tried so many builds with the eradicators and so far, I've tried everything, even the safety overhaul or safety override. It's they're they're insane with these things. They're so good. The problem is they are even though they're good with it, they're not fast enough. And if they get surrounded, doesn't matter how good they are, they die. So they're not fast enough like the little guys, and they die if they get surrounded. But one on one with safety override and that eradicator can can take down a capital ship on its own. No problem. Uh, but because we're not doing safety overrides, the best weapons that I've seen are the hyperdriver or the uh, shield breaker, the maulers just to destroy uh, armor and hull. And I have one uh, Vulcan cannon because these are so good. Uh, but when you have too many, they're not very good. So one. And the reason why I have it in the middle is because look at the, the arc, it covers the nose on my ship. And the problem with the Vulcan is it sprays like everywhere, which is perfect. Missiles are coming everywhere on the front, so I want it to spray like a shotgun. So that's the idea of it. So it's really, really, really good, especially with accelerated ammo. It's, it shoots really, really fast. Now, the lasers are awesome. They're one OP, the range is long, and... Uh, Anything that the Vulcan does in one shot, the, the cat, the, the lasers one shot it. There's the lasers are so good that even uh, missiles that go to the side, they take care of it. So, and it's good because normally behind my eradicators, I have fragile ships that I want to protect. So I always want to have these. And the reason why I have so many lasers is because I have this one right here. Uh, integrated point defense that makes my lasers 50% uh, better. Eventually, I'm gonna give uh, my eradicators uh, Giro for 20% increased uh, missile and fighter. So, I'm gonna give them this as mod. Uh, but, but I'm not there yet. But yeah, this is my eradicator. Okay, and I'm gonna give him armor so he'll they'll have almost 1800 armor. Now, my venture this is like the the secret sauce on my build with the Gemini. I have Philems times two. Then I have Salad Mans times two, the little ones. 
then I ha normally have one of each, one Hyper and one Mauler. Uh, but because I'm still working on getting him 3S mods, uh, I'm, wor I'm working around with, with talent or with points. So I have both of each right now. But normally you want one of each. And this is the middle one is so garbage. I just have a, a PD just to intercept missiles. On its own, it's garbage. But if you have uh, three to four ventures side to side, these things can back up each other so you can defend your other uh, ventures uh, if you have them uh, kind of close. Um, I have them with heavy armor. So they're very, very tanky when they don't have a shield. Uh, what else? EMC. It's clutch. You want this for your salad mans and for your pillums. And the last one is going to be expanded missile rockets. Uh, it makes the pillums better. So you can keep doing it nonstop. And the reason why the venture is so good is because uh, you can just spam. Uh, so I'm... So this is normally the rocket right here. So you see, that's six rockets right there, right? And you have to wait. Uh, if you see right here, it's a cooldown. I have to wait for the next round. So the moment the cooldown is up, I'll do it again. And then the reason why the venture is so good is because of the special. It's called Fast Missile Racks. So I'm going to use it. I have three stacks of that. So I'm going to shoot my missiles. Missile Rack. It's reset. Go. Oh. Shoot again. I'm gonna reset again. Uh, there you go. So I can just do this all over and over. See? It's a machine, uh, rocket launcher machine gun. Obviously there is a, a cooldown. Like I, after I lose the three stacks, I have to wait, but it's so good. Like, you can't beat this. And this is the reason, if you have more than five ventures doing this, you just overwhelm the, the, the enemy ships. Um, so yeah, that's why the venture, in my opinion, it's been shining so good. Not only it's an amazing uh, cargo ship, because it can carry a lot of stuff, no problem. It is a big ship, uh, which synergizes well with the next ship that I'm going to introduce. It's called the Gemini. So this is, I believe it's a... Uh, I believe this is a. Um, it's a cruiser. So yeah, this is a cruiser. It's it's a. It's not a capital, but it's it's a big ship. So now the Gemini. The reason why we take this guy. It's because of its special. So this guy doesn't even have weapons. All his job is just to harass with Pelums, and be at max range. If you put a weapon here. Uh, he will try to use it and he will die. So you want him to be at max range with the rockets and just be at max range. We put safety overrides on this thing because even at max range, he will die because it's slow. So you want him to like move around missiles, dodge big capital ships. If a capital ship gets on him without safety overrides, he will die. Especially, let's say, the charging uh, capital ships. Uh, they will charge to it and he, he will die. The shields are very, very strong, but he has normally he has no armor, so I gave him heavy armor. So he's pretty tanky. This is a pretty tanky unit for a uh, destroyer. This is a destroyer ship. And its damage comes from the Warthog. So this is his damage. The, the missile is just harassment. This is the, the damage. And if you run a simulation, the reason why it's so good is because the Gemini has three Warhogs, obviously the ones you picked, but then his special, uh, you pop three more. So you have six Warhogs per Gemini. If you do the math, that's a lot of Warhogs in the, in the battlefield. So that's why you take them. Um, I won him very fast in battle, so I gave him a escort package for increased movement speed. And if he is uh, close to my Invictus, which I'm not taking him anymore, the effect is double. So this is amazing. I love uh, Escort Package. You just got to make sure that they're close to a big unit. Uh, hardened Subsystems, you need this. This is mandatory to counter the safety overrides. Solar Shield, it's just quality. Uh, do you need armor? Armor is mandatory. 
Uh, you don't want to be taking damage, but the problem is if you get unlucky and you lose your shields, the moment your shields are gone, you die. Uh, it, this thing is so squishy without armor that this is a must. You have to have it. Uh, it will survive like a big barrage or a big uh, cooldown from a capital ship, like a big bomb, if it has decent enough armor. So this is this is good. Uh, shield conversion front, it's amazing. Normally the arc goes from here to here. Actually, you can see here, 150. So it goes like from here to here. So it starts here, it goes here. But with the other one, with frontal one, it goes all the way over here. It covers everything but the back. Uh, so you can put engines, insulated engine, to protect your back. I don't really care, because normally they're pretty fast, so they don't give their back. Uh, so I go with hardened shields. Uh, I'm still working on it. Uh, this is not... I don't, I'm not going to take Esmon hardened subsistence. I'm going to get something else, probably heavy armor. So I'm, uh, this is not the final build for, the, for these. But yeah, I take 10 of them. So that's a lot of Warhogs in the field. I take two Lashers. Uh, the purpose of the Lasher is just to harass and defend. They actually are very good defenders. So the Lasher, um, it's just there to capture the points. And if um, one of my big units is being attacked, let's say the, uh, what is it called? The Venture, you know how the Venture was being attacked. I will normally send all my small ships, like the uh, Lasher and the Brawler to defend that big ship that's about to die and they will attack the capital ships that are on it or whatever is on it and like get aggro away from the unit that's dying so even if this guys die it's better than the, the big one dying because you lose less crew it's less expensive to repair so losing one of these uh, it, it's it's okay now these guys are monsters so um, I put a rail gun on the on, on the on the right side. It doesn't matter. Like the outside guns, I have a rail gun and uh, a light assault gun. So this deals with shields. This deals with armor. Same thing. Uh, heavy machine gun deals with shields. Assault chain gun deals with armor. So between these four guns, it will shred anything. There's no defending this. You can't defend it. You will just die. If you have one of these guys on the side or on the back of your ship, this thing will melt it. And if you have two to three, it's just even better. Uh, if I run a simulation, the reason why I picked these two weapons um, is because if, if you look, the range on the weapons, it's a little bit uneven uh, because the outside weapons have 700 range normally. Uh, safety overrides nerf the crap out of it. So the range for all four weapons is very, very close. So all weapons will hit all the time. So, um, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it, it's just... Oh, and the reason why they're all uh, ballistics is uh, because of the special. See? It's just crap. <laughs> the best. Honestly, it's one of my favorite ships. It's so good. But, uh... I will have more brawlers if the Gemini wards were not so much fun. Because you could have 30 of these, but eventually they'll die. Versus you losing Gemini wards. It doesn't matter because they're not even real fighters. It's just like the cooldown that the Gemini pops. So if he loses two or three, and like... 30 or 40 seconds, he'll do it again and pop another three. So it's non-stop awards coming out of the Gemini. Non-stop missiles coming out of the, the the Venture. And if it gets in front of the an ad, it can easily tank it because it has so much armor. It has mid-weapon, so it will not only tank it, but do a lot of damage to it. Uh, the mining uh, pods are very, very good. They're so good to help keep the venture alive because uh, they do laser damage so I put uh, defensive tar target array on them so my miners do 50% uh, more damage so normally the mining drill does 30 damage 
with the defensive targeting ray, it does 15, 15 more damage, so it's 45 damage per miner. So not only they body the shield, the missiles when he's getting attacked. Uh, here, I'll, I'll show you. I'll do a simulation, and I'll do it with the, one of these guys. This guy's pretty hard. Um, so it's very rare that my venture will win one-on-one. -on -one against this guy, but he will be able to, like, stay alive long enough. If not beat it, because I've, I've tested this build before, and I should be able to, like, be... like, stay alive long enough. And you can see my, my, my miners, they're attacking the, the missiles. So between their mining drill and my PD, um... His missiles get destroyed before they hit mine, my ship. And see, this is why. You see how he's spamming? Like, those missiles, he's not supposed to do that. He's gonna do it again. So, it's just non-stop. And if I hit the engines, like right now, he's a sitting duck. He can't move. He's completely immobile. So, if you have brawlers, you just get, they get behind it, and they kill it. See right now the, the miners in action. Let's see. So e even if they don't stop the the rockets with their lasers, their bodies will stop it. So you get meat shields and you get lasers. So I think it's worth the six points to make your miners a little bit better. Now I'm taking a lot of damage here. This is not a matchup that the Venture is supposed to win against this guy. Because look at the weapons, he has better weapons than me. But it's a matchup that you're supposed to endure until you get back up. I should be able to do this. Like, kill this guy. I've, I've been able to... My Venture can actually kill this guy. But I have to invest very heavy on shields and uh, venting. So if you wanna if you wanna beat this guy, you just have to have vents. And this guy has zero vents right now. So his shields can't take it. But look at the punishment he's taking, like he's not he's not going down easy. And he's still dishing damage out damage out. And normally the weapon that I have is the other one, the one, the hyper one. So one hyper, one mauler uh, to deal with the shields. Uh, but because I'm still as modding it or getting mods to it, I'm I, I'm short one point at the moment. But yeah, right now he has no engines, so he's just a, he is a sitting duck. I can non-stop do this forever. The problem is when he uses his boost and gets close on me. Like right now, he's probably gonna use it. Watch. If he gets close, it's, it's pretty much over. He, he doesn't have any engines again. Now I'm doing, I believe, I would be doing more damage to shields if I had the hyper one. But I'm doing damage right now. See the miners are just waiting for missiles and they body shots. See so he just body a shot. Might take engines here. Nope. I have three stop three charges, so he can do like back-to-back -back missiles. He's doing them right now, I think. He used it once right now. He's used it again. He's probably gonna use it again, because whenever he uses it, he uses them all at the same time. He used it again. See, that's just ridiculous. Like, you shouldn't be able to do this. He used it again. So you can use it up to four times. He used it again. It's just so good, man. The Venture, it's a scary fucking ship. He's just using them right now, non-stop. Normally, the cooldown is like 30 or 30 seconds, I think. It's a long cooldown. 30 or 20 seconds, something like that.
if he charges right now, I'm pretty screwed. I'm dead. So the only advantage that the venture has is range. So if I were to keep doing this, eventually you'll take it down. And this is without support. But yeah, that, that was the venture right there. Very impressive. Now, the Gemini. I want to pick one without a captain. How do I remove the captain? There you go. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the same monster or same ship, and you'll see why the Gemini is so good. So he gets three, right? Usually wards cost 12 OP. So he's starting harassment already. He did his rockets. He puts shield. And he did his special, he gets three more wards. So six wards go in. They flare, distracting all the guns that he has, and they go to town. They choose like wearing and tearing right now. Doesn't matter if he shields. My dude is not even worried, like he's just harassing from long range. Those missiles don't have to hit, it's just extra. But yeah, look at his engines, like he's getting hit from the back. And look how long it takes for I have look if you look at the bottom right here I have three three fighters so even if I lose a fighter right now I have I believe four no I have five so I have three here two here I have five total uh, three of those fighters are not real they're fake I believe this is a fake one it's coming back but it still counts that I have two so I have two total right now two real ones I should say but look how much damage they take. That one is still alive, even though it looks dead, it's still alive. Okay, <laughs> it's just fucking insane. I just used my cooldown and I have three more. So I have more than six now. You can have up to nine total when they're trying to get back. So this one is not real. He's trying to get back in my ship. So he disappeared, he's, go he's gone forever. But my three fighters are still up. I just used my cooldown. I have three more, which I think some already died. And uh, if you can see the graphic here for his armor, like I already did so much damage on the backside. And in the meantime, I'm doing rockets. See, those two are fake. They're going back to my ship. They've done their job. And the moment they go in, I should be able to get my cooldown in like two seconds now. And I just got it. It's ready. So he, he's going to use it anytime. See, he just used it. Three more. So I have like six now. So the harassment is just non-stop. Long range harassment. And... I honestly think they're gonna they should they're gonna nerf the war uh warhogs. They're too strong. Yeah, if I keep doing this, even with me uh losing CR, I should be able to beat it. If you can see his health. Like I'm already doing red damage. I just destroyed his engine with Warhogs. It's so good. Like this is gonna take a little bit longer, but Look, the damage is already ramping up. He's losing damage for health. But yeah, that's the uh, Gemini. And uh, the Lasher is just, like I said, just to capture points. They usually always die. And oh my god, these guys are so good. <laughs> I love the Eradicator. But yeah, this is uh, the build that I currently have. It's pretty fun.